Hello everybody, welcome to PlayStation Plus Preview uh, for July 2014. We're taking a look at one of the PS3 games for this month, uh, which is Vessel. It's an indie game, uh, sort of a puzzle platformer from what I have seen. Uh, originally came out on the PC quite a while ago. Uh, they brought it to the PS3 and uh, let's hop. Let's hop in. Uh, this is a game that makes more of its focus on water physics and all that sort of stuff. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so we can see here the main character is sort of doing some scientific research on making water creatures. See them doing puzzles and that sort of stuff. This is a long intro. Okay, so one of his water creatures locked him out of his own lab. I guess now we gotta... And uh, if you're interested in doing some reading, uh, do a search for an article about this specific port on Gamasutra. The PS3 port for Vessel on Gamasutra. There's a nice uh, article from the lead developer that was in charge of doing that port, uh, talking about the difficulties they had porting the original game's code to PS3, so we're figuring out how to do that. Okay, so, so far, X jumps. Okay, we see some of his creatures there. These might be prototypes, I'm guessing. I can definitely see why they had some trouble getting the game to run well on the PS3. Just sort of all the sort of simulation of fluid physics they're probably doing at any one time. That sort of stuff can be really tricky even for a game like this that seems like it's really simple. Yeah, you can see like things like that just interacting with the water, all that sort of stuff. Sitting here knocking water all around. Well, that's nice of him. Let us through. Uh, what's over here? that switch there. I'm gonna try and get that water out of there. So power that thing. So 
so far pretty simple puzzles. Uh, okay. You can probably see it a bit better than I can. So I'm going to turn that gamma up. I'm really not a big fan of games that are dark. Exceedingly dark. On my TV, this is really dark. So we let him out. He's letting us out. him through and then we're gonna be able to well okay never mind I say it's pretty good fully work on the you can tell that sort of fully work just from the the uh, weird echoiness of the sound effects okay, that's a guy jumping into the air Landing on like a wood floor or something like that. Head on. Uh. Okay, there we go. Hey. Jerk. Come back on. We just, we just come down this now. Okay, it's gonna look confused. Okay, so that's a great. That's they're able to get through. Crap. Uh, we want to go get him over. Yeah, the interesting part of it so far is just the, the fluid physics. Just messing around with that a little bit. I imagine it'll become a much bigger thing as we go on here. So I can't get through without turning that over. Trick it. Yeah, that's fully worked. Cheap fully worked. Yeah, that's sort of how you have to do it. I'm not sure what that. What those buttons are doing. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't uh, sort of kept an eye on things, there we go. Things just peeing over here now. Peeing on his butt. Sorry about that. Just moving on. Uh, yeah. So this month they are basically putting out all six games uh, at once. Unfortunately. There's only one game that we cannot capture, at least at this moment. Uh, and that is... Muramasa Rebirth for the Vita. That is only available on Vita. I could probably do a look at the Wii version, but I think that would be the most ideal way to uh, handle that. It's 
fill that thing up with water. Do this and create a water. Let's see what he's gonna do. We're gonna go nuts. Jump like crazy. Um, yeah, so we'll have five videos for PlayStation Plus. I'm not sure what the light is for. But that's sort of a thing to say, hey, come over here. I see what I'm supposed to do. He comes over to the light. I want to go turn this one on and he'll go across that thing up at the top. And I'll open this up. Well. Yeah, then I want him to do that again. That's interesting. Ooh, riding around. We're just holding in the grab button square. So this kind of reminds me actually of Ragdoll Kung Fu and sort of the way that... Oh. Screwed him up. Oh well. No, 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 no. Back, back. Well, I guess he's screwed. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty decent little uh, puzzle platformer based around the idea of manipulating these fluid dynamics and that sort of stuff. We're stopped here. Oh. Sure. I'm gonna have to punch you. Yeah. Stomped him. There comes another one. Dig it. Ah ha ha. Oh. Okay. I need to get back. I don't know why I want to go back. This is dark. Yeah, you can see a little bit more of the light. Of what's outside of the light. To me, it's nearly pitch black. Or maybe not as bad as pitch black. Dark enough that... I don't know. Just really dark. Oh. Squirting water at me. So these things have been multiplying and getting all around the place. Oh, that's the end of the line. Alright, big puzzle room. So we need water to go in here to create a creature. He's gonna do, I don't know what. Okay, water there. Okay.
Uh, we need a bunch of... These guys are going to go around and jump on their switches. Have fun. As long as they don't get in my way. Kill themselves. Now you don't create more of yourself. That should be enough to make the four we need. They should be all happy they got things to do. Here I am squirting the water. Alright, get on them. There we go. Yeah, so I think that's a good look at a uh, vessel here. And yeah, they're putting up all five games at once, or all six games at once for the month. Not spreading them out, so if you want them, you have until the first update of August to grab all six games. Uh, Vessel, Dead Space 3, uh, Doki Doki Universe, Towerfall Ascension, Strider and Muramasa Rebirth. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you like what you see. And uh, see you guys again on the next video.